why is the sex amazing when the relationship is bad? Actually, let me rephrase. Why do you think and believe that the sex is amazing when the relationship is bad? Mm -hmm. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing you what's happening in your mind, in your body that's making you feel the way you're feeling and why it's extremely difficult to leave this person that's given you amazing sex or an amazing bond. That is what we're going to be talking about in this video. Um, so if you're looking forward to that, please do stay tuned and hit the like button if you learn something from this video and obviously hit the subscribe button as well. Let's get right into it, okay? So the system in our brains that deals with our emotions, our um, memories, our stimulations, is called the limbic system. When we feel happiness, when we feel closeness, when we feel a bond, when we feel wellness in our bodies, you know, our hormones and the chemical releases that happen in our bodies, you know, erupt. <laughs> and it reinforces the fact that we are building a stronger bond with our partner. When all of a sudden there is an inconsistency or not so frequent um, experiences where we can develop these strong um, limbic resonance, that's what it's called, or emotional harmony, emotional connection, or emotional attunement, our brain isn't producing enough of those um, hormones and chemicals to further nourish and nurture those feelings of bonding and closeness with our partner. Okay, I hope you're understanding this so far. So, the twist is that sex in and of itself is something or an act that produces, okay, it produces these chemicals, these hormones that help to reinforce the bond with our partner, the closeness, the wellness, the happiness in that very act, okay? So in and of itself, it makes you feel close, bonded, um, happy, and all of that, okay? Are you still with me? So that is why when you're in a chronically bad relationship, toxic for you, <laughs> because your whole being is afforded and rewarded with all these juices and chemicals releasing, making you so happy and bonded and close to your partner, it's giving you this distorted idea of what love and intimacy is. And as a result, you can blow the very act of sex and the importance of it, you can blow it out of proportion because you've put such an importance on just that act alone, being the sole purpose of your emotional connection with your partner. Hear me out and follow me. I'm building a case here. The reason why you're feeling as though the sex is so um, amazing to you, um, in your head, <laughs> the reason why it feels so amazing is because in your everyday life with your partner, there aren't any um, activities that are non-sexual that also give you those um, limbic resonance, emotional connection, emotional uh, tumor. There's no other non-sexual activities between you and your partner that gives you that satisfaction, that gives your body that chemical release, that gives those hormones, the dopamine, the oxytocin. It isn't nourished in any other place other than during the act of sex in that relationship. That is why you've put such an importance on the sex alone. Now I'm about to break it down so much so that you know why it's not worthwhile staying in a toxic relationship um, solely for the sex, okay? You are hurting yourself, but I'm about to build the case for you. It's basically like walking in this life and you're only stimulated by sex. I mean, that is a very malnourished life and it's a very malnourished mindset and a way to look at life in general 
that's why I'm really trying to make sure this point comes across um, concise, assertive, but very gentle and caring because I am saying this because I care about you, okay? I hope you're still with me and you don't feel too dragged. I'm trying to help you here. Now, the limbic system is also the same part of the brain that our fears and our anxieties are also um, residing in, okay? So you have all these um, stimulation, but your fear and in your and your anxiety is also tied to all of those things in that part of your brain. What this means is that when you continue to feed this toxic dynamic, your brain is constantly being trained that this is normal behavior and soon that part of your brain that deals with fear, anxiety, your emotions, your thinking, um, it starts to get damaged. And what that means is that now you fear leaving this very thing that's given you the source of your bond, the source of your emotions, the source of your happiness. That's what you're thinking. You're thinking if I leave, then who, who or where am I going to get this happiness and this thrill and this chemical release from? So you end up staying. And that in and of itself is also very damaging for you. And this is why. If you will be very honest with yourself, the sex is probably not that amazing. And the reason why I say that is because of this. In any relationship, in order for the sex to be amazing, it takes preparation for you to truly appreciate and experience full-blown amazing sex, okay? So in your toxic relationship, you are not getting anything okay any other emotional connection limbic resonance no chemical releases in anything that's non-sexual so in and of itself nothing prepares your chemicals or your happiness um your happy um hormones to be released during the act of sex okay so if you're really honest with yourself nothing prepared you for the sex and you're just in it to fill a void okay so you're you're thinking that the sex is amazing but actually it's feeding a different void in you and that's for you to really think about and try to uncover what it is you're trying to feed okay there are a number of things that make a healthy and happy relationship and build um, a greater emotional bonding in any healthy relationship and sex should be the cherry on top of the cake the emotional bond cake that you and your partner have built so you put in so much importance on just the cherry and missing out on the plethora <laughs> of options when it comes to the cake and what you could have built with that partner or someone else for that matter that's what i'm advocating here because this partner you have right now cannot give you what you so desire even if you do not know it yet they cannot do that for you but you're putting too much importance on the scraps i'm not even going to call it the cherry because it's not amazing you're putting so much importance on the scraps when you could be getting a whole cake you could be getting a whole cake. Now, it makes me think that maybe you don't think and believe that you could get a whole cake. So you'd rather settle for just some scraps. Maybe you haven't heard ever in your life that you know, you're know you worth something or you, you are deserving of great love um, or that you, you are unique, you are precious. Um, but I'm here to tell you that you are and you are deserving of love and what you have right now is not the end of it. That isn't all you can get. But in order to attract that, you do need to look inside and do the work on yourself. And I would like to give you some exercises to help you really um, channel all those thoughts into that thing that you're using your sex, the scrums, <laughs> scrums, crumbs of a sex. <laughs> you're using it to fill 
I'm, tr I'm gonna try and give you some exercises for you to practice to help you really get down to the core of that because think about this the people who um, leave relationship toxic relationships um, that had amazing they used to have let's say amazing sex with their partners why do you think they leave it it's because they put so much more importance on the cake so the other everyday um, activities that are non-sexual that's what they put the importance in everybody can have sex you got this he's got that everyone can do sex but that's not important but can they hoover can they cook for you can they text you how are you doing today do they check in on you do they laugh when you're sad when you're lonely do they feel uncomfortable that you're even showing emotions just take a step back take a step back and look at your relationship and what it's lacking because you might not have stopped to think about that because you're just in your head airy fairy and the sex is amazing so you don't think about anything else i need you to take a break okay take a break and think of everything else that makes a cake i'm gonna put some words on the screen and i need you to really take some time some quiet time to think about each of those words and what they mean to you okay you take one of them and then you you ask yourself what does this mean to me is it lacking in this relationship and keep ticking it off the list when was the last time you paid attention to your emotions your thoughts your needs and your wants do you even know what your thoughts are saying do you even do you even take time to even listen to your thoughts sometimes i know it's very scary and very frustrating to put a label or even a name to some of the emotions that we're feeling especially when we're in um, a toxic relationship because there's just so much going on <laughs> so you don't quite know what it is that you're feeling but i promise you if you do this exercise just take your time just breathe because you're probably not breathing <laughs> obviously you're breathing but you're not you're not living you're just surviving on the scraps <laughs> On a thin thread I'm sorry I'm not laughing at you <laughs> I'm just trying to you know take the tension off the topic okay that's why I giggle and that's why I laugh but I'm not laughing at you I'm just trying to you know bring the um, level down a little bit just so that you're more receptive to what I'm saying um, yes so ask yourself open-ended questions that really helps you gain a deeper understanding into your thoughts and into your emotions with time this exercise will help you separate yourself from your emotions because you aren't your emotions you should and can be in control of your emotions okay you aren't your emotions so when you're feeling sad that's okay but getting on top or getting down to the root of the sadness is absolutely key and it's a tremendous place to be and you can get there too okay just exploring your feelings it makes you very much in tune with yourself and as a result of that you become more um, in tune with other people emotional attunement <laughs> Yeah, so I hope that wasn't too much. I um, hope that it's definitely got you to think at least um, and think and ex um, assess where you're putting your importance. Are you putting so much importance in just the cherry um, when you could get the whole cake and the cherry? Um, I have other videos which I will link here um, because I talk about relationships and just finding your true gem <laughs> because you are a gem <laughs> and um, yes I also do hair content on here as well every Tuesday I try all the weird and wonderful stuff on YouTube so definitely subscribe for next week's one because I think you're gonna love it um, but yeah until next time take care and God bless bye bye